hope I have it. I hope I have it going. Welcome back to the podcast. Definitely not the number one podcast in the world. Um, <laughs> I'm here with my mom today. Your mom today. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds, I'm sorry, it sounds funny. Are we playing a Gohan today? No. No Gohan? No. He's still not back. Still not back. I'll probably have to fire him at this point. <laughs> he just, he's missed the last four podcasts straight. Do you edit these or are they live? I edit them. Okay. Yeah, it's not live. Okay. Yeah. Just in case, I'll try to watch my trucker's mouth here. There's really, there's really no, I already went over the rules with you, and there's really, Mm -hmm. there's really not a lot. So, I don't even know what to talk about. Like, how to start. I'm bad with... Your intro. Segways. Yeah, I just... Segways. (laughs) Segways into stories. So, you you know I box, right? Right. I feel like I should probably get closer so it picks up. Oh, yeah, me too, probably. Huh? It, it wasn't bad last week. I'm going to start using that stuff like there, the camera thing. Is, I guess. Um. So, yesterday, whenever I went where I went, I decided to... um. To have some people punch me in the face, <laughs> yeah. and I already, I already told you this, but I never showed you any of the videos. No, so I'm, I've I got, been waiting to I got see the them. Video. Here's the for the podcast. Here's the best one. Oh my gosh, Patrick James! Oh my gosh! Oh, I hated that. Oh, I hated that. That was terrible. Who was that? That was that was my friend. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Don't say Don't tell me his you. name, cause <laughs> I well, don't want to know. Oh. In, all, in all fairness, that was I told him terrible. to do that. I, oh. The worst. The worst part is that, that is awful. I don't remember him hitting me though. <laughs> he is hit, that the one where you like where I saw, saw white? white? Yeah. <laughs> That's, he hit me, like, I don't, I remember him going, are you ready? And I was like, yeah. And then I don't, I remember just, like, a flash of light, and then my other friend picking me up, going, dude, stand up. And that's it. I don't remember. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember contact. Boys, what? Yeah. (laughs) I can say I've never walked around asking people to punch me in the face. That's. Well, I have to get used to it. Yeah, but I don't feel like that's the way to do How, it. Th- well, there's... A, you like, can't open really, like, gloved, like, just punch me in the face. <laughs> like, I really just don't see how that is um, going to be helpful you want to in see any it way. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but, like, it just feels so weird. That kid is so small, too. Like, oh, my gosh! Does he have a glove on or Yeah, he has a glove. Oh, okay. It wasn't... I it saw wasn't, something. I didn't know. It wasn't a fist. I would, I, I'm not I'm not doing that with just Did he, fist. like, feel bad? Was he like, Did, oh, yeah, my gosh. Yeah, he didn't. And, and, like, I was, like, really nervous to do it. So he, he lied to me and said he was going to go half force, but he didn't. Yeah, that was... That was not... And, that and couldn't have been half force. I, I, in the back of my head, I wanted him to go full force, but oh I didn't gosh. want to think about it. Oh, wow. I have chills. Like, that made me sick. It's like, not, I'm nauseous now. Like, oh. And how many times did you do that yesterday? Um, That was the worst. And then I had some other people punch me in the face, and they weren't that bad. They were actually... I don't even think anybody else like. So does that kid punch? box? No. Okay. No. Well, maybe he should start because, <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Did you get to hit him back? Yeah, but I was like dazed. Well, so, yeah. So yeah, like your. It wasn't <laughs> yours. As bad. Yours was at half part. It. it Are wasn't, you gonna show your dad? Definitely not. No. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely not. not. That's a That's, super negative. Super negative. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a big no. That would be 
I f- but like the sad part is, I feel like he'd be more mad that I took my gloves there. Yeah, than, than, than the think, actually getting than you actually getting punched in the mouth. Yeah, it, Pat, why are your gloves there? Oh my god, it's so irresponsible. <laughs> but oh, yeah, I saw, insane! I saw white. I don't even know like how to explain that though. Did your ears ring or anything? Could I thought they stuff? started bleeding. Yeah. <gasps> Listen, I've only been punching. <laughs> Uh, yeah, speaking of segues, I've only been punched in the face once, and it was my dad, like, your pappy, yeah. down here. And um, I was being a fool, and he was trying to bring me back to Earth, and when he clocked me, I I saw Tweety, like, I saw birds, and I heard music. I thought there was blood coming out of my ear, and I thought the stuff that was coming out of my mouth was, like, blood and teeth. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. There was no blood. It was, yeah. like, saliva, but... It, I thought, like... Because he, he, yeah. like, he, like... I guess he he hit me, like, right here. Yeah. Which is, like, the spot to hit. And, like, I... After, like, I came back and my head just started hurting real bad, then it felt like there was some... There was nothing yeah. there, though. Yeah. There was, a, there was absolutely nothing. I can relate. That happened. I don't know if it's because he hit my ear and it just made, like, a loud, like... Well, I just so happened to be sitting, I was sitting in a chair, like in a rocking chair, so like when he hit me, he hit me with so much force that the chair and me both like flipped over, like I was under the chair, the chair was on me, I'm trying to climb away, I'm like, ah, she's getting me, like I'm gonna die, and uh, yeah, so I thought I was covered in blood and spitting teeth and everything, but I wasn't, there was no blood, there, it, there was no teeth, I didn't lose any teeth, but... I uh, I definitely saw birds that were not there, and I heard music, like uh, symphony music. I didn't hear music. Ironically, you know. I saw I saw white. That was I don't even know how to explain. Like that. almost like a near death experience. Yeah, like, like I, I died for a split second yeah. and came back. That's see, my near death experience was a leprechaun, <laughs> like on our nightstand over there. I, like, re- I remember. I think he was just like too. he followed me to the hospital even like every time I almost died he was just like there do you think those were like just hallucinations or do you think that was like I don't know like I I hate to I don't know like I hate to I feel like the leprechaun almost had to be a hallucination but then in a way I feel like I don't know it it I'll never forget it so it's just it's hard I don't know, it's hard to think, like, a hallucination of that velocity to, like, stay with you for that long, like, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't know, like, my conversation, like, with God that I had, the time that I actually died the longest at the, like, when I died did, at did the you, hospital. Did you actually, like, die? Yeah, at the hospital. I was, like, dead. That's why they had to put that thing in my neck, mm-hmm. and, like, that was scary, gross, like... When they took that thing out, like, I didn't know how bad it was until I saw pictures, like, after. Because, like, when I'm wearing it, I couldn't really see it. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it was in my jugular, so they couldn't get the blood in fast enough through my arm. So, like, they put the bed I was on, like, upside down and stuck that tube in my jugular to give me blood because it was just... But I had died, and Jeffrey, Jeffrey was in there. And I, w- I was gone for at least five seconds, like, just full-on, just dead. No, um, like, heartbeat or whatever. Like, I had no... Um, no pulse. Pulse, that's it. I couldn't think of the word. Thank you. Yeah, so I definitely, for sure, one at least once in the hospital was, like, legally dead or whatever, yeah. Uh, what is it, clinically? Clinically, yeah. Clinically dead. Clinically dead. Just that one time. I feel like the leprechauns and everything else, like, they didn't have to, like bring me back but they were you know trying like it when I got to frick emergency room and I was like like almost dead on arrival whenever I took that seizure and like went into a coma or whatever my pulse was like low and my blood pressure was like 40 over 60 like ridiculously low like so almost dead but not dead but the leprechaun was there for those those parts (laughs) so I wasn't like full-on dead So I do think when you're not full on dead, definitely hallucinations. When you die the whole way, that I feel like totally was what would have happened. What happened though? I just had, I was like on rocks, Mm -hmm. like random big stones and 
just had like a conversation with God about it was not my time to die yet. Like I have to go back. I'm like, but I don't want to. I'm tired. And he's like, you have to. You have a purpose. What is that purpose? I can't tell you your purpose. Okay, so I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. So it wasn't long or anything. It was just super like comfortable and like ex like I don't know like there was no physical feeling of it. I do though remember whenever I came back into like it was hours later though, mm -hmm. and but it, for me it felt like seconds, minutes maybe. And I remember hearing like Beth. And I'm like, why? Why is that the voice? Because like, Ma was there, Grandma Wiley, like, you know what I mean? Like, Jeffrey, Ryan, like, all these people are in the room with me. And like, I hear her. I remember I was like, and I could feel her, like, grabbing my, like, touching my hand. And I was like, why is that what sticks out to me? Like, the most. I don't know. Think it's weird. Stuff's weird. But uh, I heard Allie say, she's crying, she, she's in pain, and the nurse is like, no, she's not in any pain. And yes, yes, I was in a tremendous amount of pain. My neck and from them, they had me upside down with to put that thing in and then started pumping the blood in that way. So like gravity. Mm -hmm. And the pressure from, like they had me strapped into the table and like, you know what I mean? Like it, it was very uncomfortable. It didn't feel good. I just stubbed my toe on the stool. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a very comfortable stool. <laughs> I can assure you, it's like the world's smallest. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I still can't believe you let somebody punch you in the face. I, I, like, I, I was still multiple, totally stuck there. Let, let's see. I had... He punched me in the face. And then I was punched. And, like, you didn't even flinch. Like, no, yeah, no, no look, reaction. Look, like, you full-on took the hit. Like, look, I was smiling until impact. <laughs> look, you're even like, you even have the stance, like, ready to take the hit. Smiling <laughs> until impact. What? I didn't stop smiling oh, until the force of his punch made my head Full move. Full on smiling. Yes, you were. That, that little, little interruption. Sorry about that. Um, But. But yeah, I was I, I smiled until it hit me. I don't even that remember like I don't even remember smiling at all. That was crazy. Like in the stance, like you were full on ready for impact. Like, just <laughs> full on ready to take the hit. Like that's insane. I couldn't imagine just being like, okay, go ahead, punch me in the face. And, like, well, I I have I'm, this like little trigger. I feel like if somebody punched me in the face, even if I told them to, even if I was like, hey. Punch me in the face. Someone hits me in the face and it's on. Like, run. Because, like, I'm going to hunt you down and I'm going to hurt you. Like I, I probably would have did that if I didn't get knocked out for a second. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess you have that. Yeah. Some, I feel like I would have done, like, something. Because um, I get like that. Like, I can't play fight or wrestle around. Like, it gets, I get... Get serious. Well, I didn't even know he was there whenever I went up there. I thought it was one of my other friends who is probably a little bit weaker and yeah. I made the mistake of thinking he was there and going, hey, who wants to punch me in the face? Yeah. And he steps out and was like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that one friend, you know? I'll do it. Secretly has been dying to punch you in the face for like the last three years. <laughs> oh my gosh! But, so but yeah, I, I was like, all right. And I, it took a little. It took a little bit of extra convincing me because I was, <laughs> I was nervous. Nobody like, even though I wanted to get punched in the face, I didn't want to get punched. I don't think anybody wants, wants to. to. Yeah, genuinely feel pain. Well, you know what? There are people out there. It's called um, they're masochists. They prefer. They like pain. It's weird. People, yeah, dead serious. People are out there that like it, enjoy pain. I don't know why or how. I feel like I'm the total opposite of that. Like me, too. I'm such a I baby. guess even though I did that, I didn't necessarily want to do that. But then there was one. One of my other friends like went and they missed my face and hit me in the nose. And I'm telling you right now, it did cracked. Did you get a nosebleed? No, but it something cracked. Wow. Surprise. The you sound it made so sounds ah. completely different. That's like when I broke your sister's nose when she was like three. 
she was lying on the couch and wanted to copy with her pink and I like tossed it to her like I wasn't even trying to be mean I was just like yeah, here like and she was covered up in blankets and I thought it would land like on you know her chest where the blankets were and it hit her right it, I broke her nose for sure for sure I broke her nose she didn't cry it stunned her I think it like That's knocked her out maybe the nose. again hitting the nose is more st- it stuns you more than anything. How about Ryan finding out he was having trouble breathing and he went to the doctor and found out like his nose was broke like four times throughout his life and like he didn't even know it. That's freaky. Yeah, that would be pretty I crazy. feel like you would know. Like I think I think I broke my thumb because for like the past week I've been able to do that or past like month. That's pretty wild. A couple months. It's been a while since I've I don't know that I've ever officially, like, broke... I broke my collarbone, but it wasn't something that, like, needed a cast. Like, they can't really cast that. Well, they couldn't whenever I was, like, 500 years ago. Anyway. But, yeah. Um, so, earlier, whenever we were talking about, like, everywhere we've lived... Mm-hmm. ...being oh, yeah. haunted... In the car. Yeah, this wasn't on the podcast. You didn't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> this was earlier in the car, and... I was thinking about it, and, like, everywhere besides this house, where we live now, like, I feel like there has been... This is, they've definitely been haunted Yeah. by something. Something. Everywhere that I've lived, and, except for here. And I'm, like, one of the most rational people on the planet. Right? I I'm not. Think. I'm totally opposite of that. Like, I really feel like it's just me. Like, I feel like <laughs> I just have, like, one of those crazy lives that like is so close to like being in both dimensions at the same time or something you know what I mean like borderline there it's like I'm straddling the portal of like this dimension and that maybe I don't know but everywhere I've been some something crazy has always happened always like except like paranormal yeah except here Here. this is the only house well isn't it new yes it's it's fairly new yeah like what year was it built like 2000 or something? Uh, I want to say 2005. So, I mean, it's only like 15 years old, whereas mm-hmm. like most of the other places. However, when the first place we lived, that was um, like 80s. It wasn't that old. It's like 86. But the land, mm-hmm. um, I found out after we moved that that land there was like some serious, there was some serious bloodshed there from like way way back from like when the English settlers came here to like Indian like you know taking over Indian land and pushing them off like massacres and then it was a farm a part of a farm where the guy like the dad or grandpa of the family or whatever like snapped and killed everybody like his sister and wife and all of his kids and nieces and nephews like he killed like 30 people like went nuts and just started killing people he said that they were all witches and killed them all. So Jeez. that very well could have been the land more so than, like, where we lived, than the house we lived in. But then the first house we bought, not this one, but the other one, that one, I think, was most definitely on it. Wow. And again, it was only, like, 50s or 60s, so it really wasn't that old. I mean, old, yeah. but not, like... Like, Maul's house is, like, 1914, or 1890-something, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I don't feel like hers is haunted at all. I only ever had one, like, experience there, and that was in her bedroom, and I avoided her bedroom after that. Like, but the man that lived there before we moved in, he had passed away in that bedroom, and the wife had passed away right off where you guys were today with the sidewalk. Right there. She died and laid there for like a week before anyone noticed she was dead. Because she lived alone and her family wasn't local and she like kind of, she went out to get the mail and had a heart attack. So she sort of laid there for like a week until the mailman realized that she was there. So I don't think it was anything crazy like scary. Like the place, the last place we lived that was probably, well, since I was a kid anyway. As an adult, that was probably the scariest place. Like, I didn't like being in that house alone. Yeah. At all. It was terrifying. Like, your room, your bedroom. Definitely haunted. I remember. And we, I was, like, what, like, four? 
or f- I was five when we moved in there. You were five. And right? I still remember it like it wasn't that long ago. Some whenever we went up, I can't. I don't know who took me up to go see my room. But when we went up, there was some some shadow just peeking out from the closet. Yeah. And, like, that, like, the attic being in those little doors, like, on both sides of, both of your bedrooms, but, like, those things were creepy. Like, who does that? Who makes rooms like that? Why? Like, it could not have been for storage. Like, it, there was a huge basement. There was so much room for storage in that place. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, there, like it was being used for something. Yeah, like, something sinister happened in there. It had to have. Like, as dark as that place was, like... The basement was creepy. The basement was super creepy. But I, I felt I would rather be alone in the basement than your bedroom. Room. Yeah. For sure. And I think, didn't I do that for a while? Didn't I take my all my stuff down to the Yeah, basement? you had that little um, futon down there yeah, in the basement. the PS2 was down there. For a minute, right? yeah. Because I was too afraid to go <laughs> That bedroom was scary. I didn't believe you for the longest time until I tried yeah, to stay no, up there. Yeah, nobody did. I remember... Even the dog was trying to tell us, like, hey, lady, don't leave your kid up here. Like, you know. Oh, that was scary. And, I, and I'm pretty sure I only slept, like, overnight up there, like, two or three times, and they were all accidents, where right? I was just... Yeah, like... I was just you, so tired. Yeah, you couldn't make it downstairs. Yeah. And it was crazy, too, because, like, me, ever since I was a kid, like, the first, like ghost I guess like I ever saw I was like three I remember the pajamas I was wearing I remember where I was I I mean it scared me to my core (laughs) like it is something that is burnt in my memory because I I was so terrified I've never been that afraid in my life but if it wasn't for my grandma like I don't know what would happen when he got to me like that was the thing like I was standing at the top of our stairs like you came out my if you would have walked out of my bedroom you were at the top of the stairs. If you went this way, like to the right, it was my brother's bedroom. Across from there was my mom's in the bathroom. And then we had like a guest bedroom, which is where I think grandma was staying at the time. And it, like a skinny hallway, it wasn't very wide. Mm-hmm. And it, you went down the stairs and then right below those stairs were the stairs to the basement. And that was a freaking scary basement. It was like a coal basement, like where it was like, basically it had a coal furnace mm-hmm. and was loaded to the brim with coal. Cause like back in the day, I mean, that's what they did. Like they kept their basements just full of coal for their heat, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was one of those that would always need to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. And I remember opening my door and stepping out to the hallway to go, like, to the bathroom, which was, there was one upstairs and one downstairs, and I would have had to cross the hall, but I had looked down the stairs, and, like, he was just there, coming up the stairs, and, like, as soon as I saw him, I, like, froze, so I thought it was, like, a man at first, and I tried to scream, I opened my mouth, nothing would come out, like, I mean, I was, like, petrified, I couldn't move. It was, like... Sleep, well, it definitely couldn't have been sleep paralysis. No, because I was like, I was up. I would think that if I was in bed, but I was like up and definitely on my way to the bathroom. And then I couldn't move. So like then he was coming real slow toward me, like very slow up these stairs. And I started to see more of him, like his eyes. And then I noticed he was red and like completely nude, which is like so weird, but it like stands out for some reason. And just like dark, dark red body, like his skin was like dark red, like I, not burned or anything just like like a deep dark dark red like weird I don't know and he had on this humongous brown hat like just this huge brown hat and he didn't say anything and he but he was reaching for me like with his hands and I just remember trying so hard to scream I was trying to move and then right before he was like two stairs from the bot like from the top where I was standing and he, his hands were just inches from me. And Allie grabbed me with both of her hands around my arm like this and drug me into the bedroom that she was in, in between my room and my brother's room, and drug me in there. She, I have asked her about this so many times. I'm like, did you see him? Did you know that he was there? Is that why? Because she didn't take me to the bathroom. She didn't yell at me or ask me, what are you doing up this late? What are you doing? Because it was dark. Everyone was asleep. Everyone was in bed. It had to be late. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any of that. I just remember her grabbing me, taking me in her room, and, you know, wrapping us both up in blankets. She shut the door, which was weird. She she always, no, she don't shut doors, like, ever. Not her bedroom, not, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, like when I'd stay. I swear house. she saw him. I swear. I swear she did. And she doesn't want to say she did, but I swear she did. And I think it was her dad, which would have been my like great grandpa. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. And ever since then, like then, because I would get up so often, my stepdad started locking my bedroom. And that was whenever the creeper from under my bed started coming out. And he would, like, slide, like, on the foot of my bed, like, slide his little claws, like, where I'd see them first. And he'd pull himself up over my bed. And his hair was black and just wild all over the place. And he stunk real bad. And he had, like, real sharp, long teeth. And he was all pale and white. And, like, his eyes were just, like, this orangey, yellowish color. And he would just hover over top of me. And I would just lay there terrified. Now, that could have been sleep paralysis, I suppose. But mm -hmm. I... I was terrified of him, but I never tried to get out of bed or scream, really, or anything. I just would close my eyes and put the blanket over my head, like, go away, go away, go away. And eventually, he wouldn't be there anymore. That, that, that. I hated that house. When they burnt that house down, I was never so happy to see it. Is Even though they had such a hard time burning it down, so many people got hurt. Someone almost died in there, one of the firemen, and they were trained firemen. I mean, it, it wasn't like just, you know, they had random people in there, beginners, trying to burn down this house. No, it was a professional control burn. Like, it was just wild, and I was glad to see it go. I was I was happy. I feel like it, that property was possessed or something. It was scary. It was scary there. I hated it. I still don't like it. Even driving by there, like where it used to be, just feel like someone's always like watching. Ugh, There's still it. something there. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I know I wouldn't want to live there, but that's just like goes to show because now the place that's there now is new. But I wonder if they have any activity. They, I mean, they probably do. They probably do. There's no way they don't. I doubt that it's dormant. I wonder, I need to ask my brother, like, what kind of story, like, if he remembers, because he was two years older than me, and we lived there for, like, two years, so I wonder what all he remembers from that, from that place. Even my mom, she has stories from, like, finding cigars burning throughout the house, like, no one there smoked cigars, and there would just be, like, a random cigar just, like, burning in the ashtray, just, like, sitting there burning, like, or... Like, someone would be getting a shower or washing their hair, and all the cold water would just turn off, and it would scold whoever was, like, you know, like, in the water, yeah, like, like really, toilet. really bad. Like, mom said her cousin had got third-degree burns in the back of her head so bad that she had lost all of her hair in the, just in the back of her head that it just wouldn't grow because of the scar tissue. Like, it, like, for life damaged that girl. Like, that's how hot the water got. Jeez. Like, it's just, like, kind of crazy to think that... You know. So whatever it was, it wasn't good. No. No, I'm going to say not not very good. But that's what I mean. Like, So to hear you be like, there's someone in my room, and me be like, no, there's not. <laughs> like, how? Wouldn't I just at least be like, oh, let's go see, you know? Because I've, I've lived it, and I would have been petrified if somebody would have told me, I don't know, I, like, that guy, that man, whoever he was at that old house, like... He, yeah, he was not normal. That was not a normal, simple Casper the ghost. He was, he was gonna take me, <laughs> like wherever the missing four one one go. I was gonna find out. I was about to be one. No, but seriously, it was scary. I want to know how Grandma knew you were up if you were just. Standing there. That's what I'm saying. I didn't make a peep. Plus. I, who knows how long I was standing there before because he was moving incredibly slow like in my mind it felt like 10 minutes but maybe it was five maybe it was two but still I didn't make a peep so like she just she grabbed me right in the nick of the like nick of time I still I need to ask her again because like I swear she had to have known and mom like now that I'm older and I tell her what I saw she believes me because of the things that she's gone through there like even to the point where that's why we moved from that place. Really? Yeah, because when we lived there, it was rent-free because it was owned by our family. So, like, we didn't have to, like, pay rent or anything. So, like, we just paid utilities. So, it was actually really, like, fortunate for 
you know, my mom and my stepdad, they saved up a lot of money while we lived there to buy a house. They wanted to, you know, save up to buy. But because it just got so out of control and mom could not be there, she wouldn't stay there by herself. So it just got to the point where she's like, we got to go. We got to move. How long did you guys live there for? Like two years. Was that like the worst, the worst thing that happened? For me, yeah. Yeah. For me, oh, okay. Pause it for a second. Okay, go. All right, we're gonna take an intermission. Little intermission, we be right back. All right, we're back. Intermission over. <laughs> yeah, there was no Brief time. Brief intermission, but yeah, no. For me, that those two entities, if you will, were definitely the scariest ones that ever happened there. And then our the first place we lived when uh, I moved out on my own with you and I. Me and Jeff were having Taylor. Mm -hmm. um, the woman that was like determined to kidnap your sister, that was, she was wait, the scariest. Wait, like a real person? No, I don't think so. She was a ghost. She was definitely a ghost. I think I remember, I think I kind of remember you guys somewhat talking about that. I, I remember. Yeah, you were little because you were five. When we moved into that other When house. we moved in. Well, wait, you would have been six, actually. Wait, now that I'm thinking back, because you... No, sorry, wait, you're right. You were four when we moved into... Uh, when we bought that little trailer. Mm -hmm. And then when we moved into... Um, we moved into our house that we bought right before you turned six. Mm -hmm. So we ended up... Yeah, because we moved in over there in December... And then you turn six in February. So, yeah, that was right. Okay, I was right. I was right. But anyways, so you would have been four because I was pregnant with her. And it I, there were some little things that happened before she got there, like before I had her. Nothing major. Nothing, like, that would keep me up at night or anything. I just remember, like, sometimes I'd find, like, a random ice-cold cup of water just, like, sitting out. Like, no ice in it or anything. Just, like, ice-cold water. Like, would just be sitting on the counter there every once in a while that would happen or something like weird like that like where you almost like don't like did I do this maybe I did do this like mm -hmm. kind of thing but then after I had her oh my gosh there was more than one time like I remember hearing somebody a man say my name in the middle of the night like just steady like Chanel Chanel and I remember waking up being like what Jeffrey what and then hearing like Jeffrey being totally out snoring and then hearing check the baby like just weird whispers and I would get up and go rushing back to her room and it was like the third or fourth time this happened and I remember whenever I was getting through the kitchen to get to her room something in my head telling me not to look up like don't look at its face like I don't know but I opened her door and I was like looking down and I saw like tan colored loafers and then she was wearing brown slacks and a cream colored sweater and she had her hair in a braid but I didn't see her face like she disappeared before I got like the whole way in there but like from then on like this voice would wake me up in the middle of the night and I would go in and that lady would be in there with Taylor she would always turn her toys on her books on like any musical thing she had she'd have it on if she was in there when we had Taylor time like I'd put her in her room from 9 until 10 in the morning just to have alone time so she wouldn't get, um, like, where she could be more independent, like, as a baby. And she was just laying there and talking, talking coo, and, because, I mean, she was an infant, so she wasn't, like, talking out loud, but, like, now looking back, I'm like, could she see her? Like, you know what I mean? Like, because they say babies see things, like, dogs do, like, you know. I wonder if she remembers it. I'll be right back. Well, I guess I didn't. If I can get out. All right, so we got we got Taylor in here now. If Hi. you remember her from last week's podcast, so me and Mom were talking. Mom, you want to explain to her about the lady at the trailer? Do you remember her that tried to take you when she yeah. locked your door? Uh, I remember that. But do you remember what she looked like? Um. Well, when I picture her, I picture Aunt Jemima. 
<laughs> is that like should I keep that? I mean, yeah, I guess. Sounds like <laughs> But like, what what was she wearing? I want to see if both you guys' descriptions are similar. Like they don't yeah. have like because they doesn't point. have to be exactly the solid same. point. Well, I imagine like an old fashioned dress. What? <laughs> Isn't that literally what you explain? Mm, I don't sort of think, nope, not at all. Oh. No loafers. I said loafers <laughs> and slacks and a cream colored sweater with a braid. It's She's definitely like, old fashioned, but not a dress. No, there's there was. No, you got excited. Yeah, I got. Well, she said old fashioned. I got. She was definitely an old lady. I just uh, whenever you used to lay in there and talk to yourself when you were a baby, I just always wondered if you if she was in there talking to you. So it was like daylight and. Nothing ever told me to get her in the day. Like, I never felt scared. It was at night, in the middle of the night, like 3, 4 in the morning, whenever it would... A man, too. It was always a guy voice. But it always, to me, sounded like my my grandpa, my dad's dad. I'd be like, check the baby. And, like, I'd get up, and she'd be in there. And then whenever I was watching my friend's kids so that they could go tan, um, I have two witnesses straight up that the lady locked the door, and we couldn't get to her. Whenever um, my friend's sister broke her door down to get to her, there was no lock on the other side. And she bawled. The, my, my friend's sister cried because she we thought the doorknob was locked. Like one of her kids had accidentally locked it mm-hmm. when they were in there playing. And like she didn't think for a second. Because I kept saying, it's the ghost. It's the woman. I'm telling you. It's the woman. She it's wants the ghost. my baby. Like, Because at that point, she had tried so many times to take her, I swear. And... Um, yeah, my friend's sister, like, bawled whenever she saw there was no lock. There was no way to lock it on either side of the doorknob. Like, Ew. it was the woman holding, she was holding the door. I know she was holding it so we couldn't get to you. And At you were calm as could be. Like, we're beating on the door, going nuts, going crazy, trying to get the door open, and she didn't cry or anything. So crazy. So crazy. That, that kind of, that reminds me of that scene from... The, the Ghostbusters movie when that old lady took that with that kid. Do you, you remember that? Did you ever see that movie? The I second one? Really it's been a long time since I've watched that movie. That old lady stole that kid Who knows about out the world. window. What about the other house? Did you ever see? Not this one, the other one. The old house? Um. <clears throat> um. Not really. All I remember were the closets were so creepy. Yeah, his was. And, like, I would hear scratching, and I thought, oh, there's just rats. But now that I think about it, no. No, there was never any rats. Those there. aren't rats. No, his his room was scary. I just That's what we were talking about earlier in the car. It was, like, I couldn't sleep in his room, but I could sleep in yours fine. Like, it, I don't know. She slept in her room See, all the almost time, every like, single night, like on Christmas when you guys made us sleep in our own rooms, I would wake up in the middle of the night and he would be in my bed. Yeah, well, <laughs> his room was scary, man. I, and I remember even saying that, like, I don't care if you guys sleep together, like, you know, in the same room. I just wanted to go upstairs. I remember that, that and Christmas. I was a little confused. Didn't, um, didn't, um, didn't you and one of your friends do, like, a spirit box session up there one time or something? Yeah, we did a few actually. We did a few things in there. We even tried to bless it, and it, I think it just made it worse. What? I remember. Oh, I remember one time we were downstairs. You wouldn't let us go upstairs, but we were like kids. So yeah, you, know, you guys were young, young. I didn't want y'all trying, and especially you. I didn't want you going back and being like they were throwing holy water everywhere. Like they were throwing holy water in my closet. <laughs> Yeah, and we put like seashells stuff. like full of um, like God's tree and everything like, in your closet and stuff. Is that the dog that just moved my mic? <laughs> it just moved and that like scared me. I don't me. see how it was the dog, but. <laughs> oh, I don't like Because she's little and weighs like two pounds. But maybe. I like conjuring. Spirit. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and God. this house doesn't have anything at all. Like it's totally dead. You there is no activity mean, here. You. You shouldn't have brought up that ghost that one. You shouldn't have brought up the lady that one time, because then, like two minutes left, later, you left me and Miley here, and we heard banging on the doors. Oh, we were that so is scared. one thing that was weird here that happened to me here. I forget 
who it, 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 it so this much. happened like a couple summers ago, and I was like cleaning this bath. No, no, we were here like a year or two by then. Um, but I was cleaning this bathroom. Maybe it was last year. Might have been last summer. But anyway, I was cleaning you guys' bathroom, and it was to the point where I heard Bit and Miley talk, or or Bella. It was Bit and Bella. And it was to the point where I thought that they actually were here. Like, I started conversing with whoever. And Juliet was, too. And no, nobody was here but me and Juliet. And, like, I heard them. I heard them talking. And they weren't here. It was weird. And it happened more than once. And then... That was when Juliet was telling us about the woman that died in the pool. Ew, I remember that. Oh, what's that? That just that. seems so real. Like, the detail well, that she had. She, and like, had such she good detail. About, she's like, she's not normal, Mom. She died in the pool. She's wet. Like, like she had so many details about how what her dress looked like and what she looked like and that she was wet. And every time we'd make her repeat herself verbatim verbatim and she was what two it was before she started with her like stories <laughs> like she has now like she, those stories were scary like it was realistic. legit like there yeah like there's no way she made that up like no way she made that up I wonder if she remembers that probably not or she'll say she you won't know until she's older because she'll say she does yeah because the stage she's in now she just wants to um, lie, at, lie, this, lie. at this point i'm pretty sure she's not even sentient yeah she's just uh she's off a rocker right now y'all went through this stage all of my children go through this fairyland stage i don't remember taylor going through that you don't remember when taylor used to tell people that jeff used to tie me up and beat me no. wait what oh my gosh <laughs> We were, like, afraid for her to start kindergarten because of that. Yeah. Like, she, yeah. Or my mom was only with my dad because he kidnapped her when she was little. First of all, I'm older than him. So, like, <laughs> what? what? Wait, didn't Dolly ask you about that one? Yeah. <laughs> she used to tell us some pretty uh, outrageous stories, too. You did, too. You just don't remember. Your big thing was... You were gonna be a star. You were gonna be Johnny Elvis Cash. Presley. You were gonna be Johnny Cash, and you were gonna get up on that stage and kick out them lights. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were. <laughs> Y'all went through this exact stage. The little drama queen, Academy Award winning, Oscar nomination worthy. Do you remember when we lost her in the bed? <laughs> You guys even called the cops. Took them like 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, yes, I do. It was longer than 20 minutes. Those cops, and not only did I call the, call the police department, called 911 twice, but I also called them back and said we found her, and they didn't send an officer out to make sure it was okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you would they think. They should have. Yeah, you would think that they would, just to be sure, like, everybody was alive and well and there and safe. They would have. Because it involved a, a two year old child, that they would have, you know. And I kept yelling at Brady, why won't you find her? As he was laying right on top of her, like, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm like, hi, how are you? But, like, in that moment, like, I get it where people say, like, that they can't. Like, I felt like I was trying to walk through, like, mud or sand. Like, when we were outside looking for you, because you did that. You would just wander out all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, just go to the neighbors, like, 6.30 in the morning. You would steal the rocks. Oh, my yep. God. Uh-huh, I did that all the time. Remember that huge pile of yeah, really the, cool rocks the our neighbors had? Rocks. Just, you would just walk over there. You would, I'd be like... Hey, what are you doing, Taylor? You'd be like, I'm going to get rocks. Come back with a giant bag and just... Oh, yeah. The neighbors are rocks. <laughs> yeah, you did not know a stranger. No, no, and, no. And uh, you didn't mind. And we had some dude there from Craigslist, and that was my thing. He took her. I know he took her. He took her. And, uh, yeah, even when I called your dad to ask him for advice... And he's like, tell me what was different today. And I, I said about the Cra and Craigslist guy, and he goes, oh, my God. You're going to have to call the state police. And I'm like, I know, don't say that. 
That was scary. Oh, God. That was scary. I remember we had there. the whole neighborhood looking for you with flashlights and, like, in those little gullies of water and that pond out by um, 681 and everything. You found her in the foot. I did. Okay. How? I don't remember. Brady, because Brady just wouldn't get off that bed, so I thought if I took everything off, he would maybe get up off of it. So I took everything off and she. No, I remember Dad told me Dad put, kept going like this with the blankets and just he, to make sure. You were there. Was rolled up in there. Yeah, and you just was just no. rolling with it, I guess. Doggies. Yeah, because yeah. Jeffrey checked the bed multiple times. I checked it multiple times. I yelled at Brady to find her, and he just laid on top of her. <laughs> like, how did you know like, he was yelling for you? Yeah. Like, well, well if you been think about out. it, though, we only yelled in the house for so long before we, like, ended up going outside and getting, like, 57 neighbors to start scouring the neighborhood with flashlights. The I only reason why me and you stayed in the house was because, well, you were so little. You were only seven at the time, I think eight, seven or eight, and I didn't want something to happen to you, and then I was waiting for the state police to get there, and yeah, it was like an hour, the whole ordeal, and the police never did show up. Wow. Yeah. I remember I used to break into people's houses all the time, what? man. Yeah, <laughs> that lady, I think that's why she ended up having a heart attack and dying, because you would just like... Did I kill an old Leave lady? in the morning and go right into her house and, like, start making yourself coffee, like, right in her kitchen all the time. <laughs> wasn't there, wasn't the neighbor's house across the road one, too? Like, wasn't there a person? No, they were really, really creepy. They they were, really those creepy. are real people? Yeah. There was that old house that nobody lived in for a while. That they were renovating? Yeah, and then when they Dude, were... Dude, that down, guy that lived there was so mean. And creepy. He, he was mean. Then he, like, stand at his window and like the top stairs just look out because I, I remember looking up there probably much. but like not only that but like he hated me he wished death on me more than once because of brady and um he tried to kill brady i remember watching the coroner take him out of in there that was crazy so. but that that dude i remember i remember like being outside Doing stuff with my old vlog camera. You remember that little thing? Oh, the old one. Mm -hmm. You wanted a vlog you so bad. You wanted that bad. so bad. I started vlogging before Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. You oh, were way before him. Yeah. You were like 11. Didn't I vlog our 2000, Not even. Didn't I vlog our like 2011 mm -hmm. beach trip or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thing? On that weird little white phone that we had to No, use it wasn't even that. It was an actual vlog camera. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was an actual vlog camera. I think we still have it, that camera. We do. It, my mom gave it to me. It was an old school camera. I, I was vlogging before Logan Paul, Jake Paul. You were, still, you were still an infant. Like you, when we would go to the beach, we'd take your playpen and put you in it, put an umbrella over you, and you slept the entire thing, day. Just slept the whole time. You slept that whole vacation trip. Except for when I was vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good time. I always had fun. <gasps> Talk about haunted though. How about our beach house last year? Oh my god, that, that was place so was haunted. haunted. Remember when we heard whistling and we were sitting on your bed and I was like, turn off your phone and you were like, that's not what's on it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't even, I was just, I was literally just like looking at Snapchat with my volume muted and Taylor goes, shut your phone off. I can hear what you're watching. I was like, I'm not making noise, Taylor. And then she like up, she looked at me and uh, she was like, That's not your phone. I was like, No, that's I couldn't phone. handle laying in bed at night. And it would just shake. And it would, yeah. It would shake. That was the only time that it ever got like that crazy. Like my bed would go freaking bananas. And the washer dryer wasn't going. Like I don't know. And, and then Dad just kept being Juliet like, I seeing that guy dry. outside and I thought she was so full of it, man. Like there was I'm like, there is that I, there was yes. that That's there. when she started with the night man. She still talks yeah, about it. She him. still talks about the night man. What if he that followed was us? crazy? <laughs> and then the whistling, like it was daylight too and you guys were out in the pool and I was she was snapping. Jeffrey must have went to grab us something. He left went to the store. He yeah. went to the pizza. And I opened the window and it was asking you guys if you were whistling. I could hear the whistling. And you guys were down at the pool and y'all weren't whistling. It was no, like, we you yell, were drowning. Didn't we, didn't we yell up at you to ask you if you were whistling or something? Maybe. But I just remember. We, someone asked like, someone if we were whistling. Yeah. It was hella weird. 
It was Halloween. And I remember we looked through the whole entire room to find who was whistling. Nothing. Well, you guys don't find it odd that that guy, even though, like, I've seen him and he looked like a guy, not a ghost, but it doesn't mean that, guy, like, all ghosts are going to have, like, a ghostly appearance. Like, that guy was whistling. <coughs> don't you find that odd? Maybe it was a ghost. Maybe he wasn't, like, a real man. But it almost sounded like he was circling the house. Well, that's where that's what he looked like he was doing. That's what all... Jeffrey, like, he wasn't out on the street because was our driveway, driveway to get to the street was, like, a straight-up hill. And he was up almost, well, he was just from here to the closet from the stairs to get into the house. I have the worst nightmare I have ever had in that house. I was laying on the couch in my dream, and there was a window right in front of me, and I'm still scared to look out windows at night now. I looked out the window, and I saw someone's face appear through it, and I screamed for Dad, and he just stood there and stared at me as I was screaming. That was weird. weird. Random. Yeah. My worst dreams were probably at the... At the trailer. I had some pretty scary. I used to wake Jeffrey up crying to make him get up and come out to the living room with me and everything. Like, he'd have to come sit on the couch with me because I couldn't, I couldn't stay in there. That place was scary. I was so happy to be out of there. I even had that place blessed. And I feel like it just made it worse. I, that's what I, I think, I think in order to do that, if it's, if it's strong enough, you can just give it more power. It Do you know that one of the very, very few Catholic churches in our country that still do exorcisms? There's like only three in our country, and one of them is in is down like a few miles from where we used to live. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> we should have him up there. No, because Lord only knows what follows him around. I feel like that be the that would be the most horrifying job. On be an exorcist. Or is that the word for the person that performs an exorcism? An exorcist. An, an exerciser. An exerciser. Exercise. Exerciser. An exerciser. An exerciser. Goes to leave by kids. I'm going to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Them people are like, my dad's so cool till they find out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what he carries around in that little box of his. Oh, God. His little, di- what's it called? A divic box? A, I don't know. Divot, 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 divot. All I remember is there's demons inside of the box, and if you open it, you will, it isn't will that, kill you and your Pandora's, friends and your family. Isn't that Pandora's? Box? No, Pandora's box is the, uh, like a quote unquote can of worms. Yeah. Pandora's box, if you open it, it, it's like all kinds of bad luck and stuff. The Dippic boxes, specific demons. Will you? Two different mythologies, really. Just depends on who you, who you ask. But yeah, I uh, I definitely remember not being sad about moving out of that our old house, not at all. I was actually happy, really happy. I was pushed down the basement stairs there. I remember that. With the I freaking was, sweeper in my I hand. I was there for that. Were you there? I was there for <laughs> that. Sweet brand new sweeper, man. I, I remember, just got. I remember hearing you yelling and I went over to the I freaking seat. fell hard. Yeah, I, I thought Jeffrey was. pushed me and he wasn't even... The, Why would he you push asked, you down the stairs? Not on purpose. You asked me if I pushed you too. I felt hands seat. on my... I felt hands. I felt... I was pushed. Well, did they feel like they were toddlers or humans? At Wait, least, no. Isn't the isn't the really bad sign if you have like three scratches on your back or something? If you wake up with them? supposedly, but I wake up with all kinds. Of stuff. I wake up with bruises and well, yeah, scratches. You guys, and you guys sleep with dogs. Juliet beats the hell out of me. No, Armani sleeps on a different side of the bed than me, unless I put her in between my legs. But then I still get scratches on my arms, and I wake up with her on the other side of the bed. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, we've had some pretty scary experiences. Yeah, we've definitely had some pretty creepy, some haunted, some haunted stuff happen. For sure. I wonder. I wonder. Should we like go back 
No. See, that would make for some yes. good vlog content. That would make for really good vlog that content. That would be, that would be really good vlog Oh, content. and because Chuck and Katie Do you remember? Well, do you our remember, first house isn't even there anymore. Do you remember Zach's old no. YouTube channel when we caught Ouch. that ghost on the camera? Ouch. Ouch. We also we caught Brady an orb. and Daddy. And it didn't do that. But we caught an orb on Z Actually, I think the videos are still up. Most of the videos I have from, like, you guys' birthday parties and stuff, I have orbs and everything. This was like an actual orb. How about one night we were there and you guys were sleeping, or maybe you all weren't there, maybe it was a night you were at Granny's and you were at your dad's, but me and Robin and her friend Jackie were all sitting at the kitchen table, like in the kitchen dining or in the dining room, living room. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How there was hardwood and then carpet? Mm -hmm. Well, we were all just sitting there BSing, and the remote control, that big remote control we had, Went flying off the arm of the couch, clear across to the wall, busted off the wall, and it, like Jackie wouldn't come back to her. She never come back. No, nope, she never did. <laughs> and Sheena Wingrove wouldn't come back after she stayed in your room for that. She said that she had never had a bout of depression like she got after she slept in your room for a week when I had that surgery. Yeah. Man, Zach's channel's still old. They're all still there. <laughs> Oh wow! I'm gonna have to watch from this. Let me six see. Years ago. Let me see. Don't play me. I don't want copyright because there's music on there. Zach paid ninety nine da, 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 cents da, 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 for it. Oh gosh! Wow! Look at little. Oh, 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 oh. Look at Zach. my girly haircut. <laughs> <laughs> <was> Our <laughs> night. <laughs> I remember that. The YouTube game show. I That's remember what it is. that. Uh, six years ago. That was what, 2014? Yeah. I was in kindergarten. That's crazy. I want to see if I can find the orb. It was in this video. I'll mute the audio and just look. Okay. I have so many stories, though. <laughs> My oh, jump <laughs> These were posted, they were all posted in June of 2014. Did you ever find your thing? No, I never found it, and I couldn't get another one back in, so I had to order a tape or a needle. How did we not get copyrighted for showing sure? that? There it is. What did you It show? goes right past his face, even though I'm pretty sure it's a glare now, but I remember back then we were, like, horrified that it was a ghost. <gasps> Ew! It yeah! Out of, it, 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 it comes it, it, out of his... But there's, like, no light. Uh, no, there's, there's nothing there that should have done that. Yeah. It just comes out of his. It looks like a bubble. It doesn't yeah. even look like like an, like what a glare would look no, like. No, that's definitely not a lens glare. Like it's like what? And it just like and then just like and then disappears. Nothing ever. And then I think that's it bounced around the kitchen a little bit there. It looked like, but just for a second. Wait, there was another one. Yeah, right after watch it like after it goes. That one comes on the front, like when the camera goes over to the kitchen, it looks like it bounces, watch. See, and then wait, see, right there, bounce like off the wall, and then right there. Oh, yeah, right, right there. the bottom. Yeah, it's like it's and Fuller it's Taylor, so Taylor around. It's Fuller Taylor around! Maybe it was the woman. <laughs> Look at you, with your freaking Jeffrey Dahmer haircut. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> wow. Why did you ever put things on me? You did that! You oh, yeah. cut your hair like this, you freaking weird. And shaved your eyebrows off. <laughs> you look terrible like a freaking serial killer. We couldn't take you anywhere. Oh my gosh. You looked hideous. I still have that photo somewhere. I remember just me like this. And my oh, eyebrows yeah. shaved off. And you off. just thought you were the bee's knees. Your freaking hair is cut up to here. It's your freaking forehead. Didn't and you have no eyebrows. Like, a, like, a, like an electric razor? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like it like was a buzz it cut. was up. Yeah. She buzzed her bangs off. They were like straight up. Like there was no way to even fix it. Oh my god. And then like two days later she cried about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it grew back. No, I started crying about yeah, it because she started sure. crying about it. That was when you cut your length is when I cried because you had all that beautiful long. It was down to your butt. And I just. And you just cut it like a friggin' pixie cut, you psycho. I only oh. ever cut my hair once. Oh, yeah. And I got yeah. beat. And I was like, never again. I cut. I don't remember if I beat you or not. I feel like I did, but I feel like I was so sad. I don't know that I could. I was like. It was well, bad. that's it yeah. for this podcast, guys. Make sure to check in next week, I guess. I hope you enjoyed. 
Yeah, I should probably get up so I can stop it and it doesn't go. Yeah, <laughs> it won't just go off on its own. Uh, nope, it doesn't do that. <laughs> I wish it would though. Should we just let it ride out until 37? Yeah, I guess. Alright. Goodbye! Bye! Bye.